All right, today we get to have a little fun assembling a dinosaur uh, made of blocks. And this thing I'm highlighting right here, that's the model number. When you see this uh, instructions that I just grabbed out right there, you're going to want to look for that because there's, uh, they basically made, the, we'll, we'll show in more detail later, but uh, there's the pieces right there. Uh, next, obviously, you want to open the packages and get those pieces all set up. Uh, the first, obviously, the first pieces you're doing are going to be harder to match because there's like 69 pieces here. But as you build uh, build your dinosaur slowly, it becomes much easier uh, to get on the list. Next, what we're going to do is take a look at uh, the instruction manual. And uh, if you'll notice that uh, I've highlighted the no NOK191. That matches the number on the box in red. Uh, you want to follow the instructions on that one because there's like four different ones. Uh, we're looking at the one that it matches, uh, which is number A, and then we'll follow a list. You basically follow steps one, one through twelve uh, to get your dinosaur assembled. Twelve, it doesn't really show a picture, but that's basically where you do the de decals, and we'll take a look at that last. Now, when you're assembling a bunch of blocks together, uh, the first step is always the hardest because you're you're looking for, uh, you know, quite a few pieces here. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Looks like there's uh, 14 pieces here if I counted correctly. And we're trying to get all those pieces together uh, per se. You can see right now I'm focusing on those little uh, end pieces right here. So we got 14 pieces out of out of 69 that we got to uh, find uh, that will work for the first the first step. So, you know, the, the first few steps are going to be typically the hardest because you got to sort for the pieces. Uh, once you've whittled your way down, it becomes much easier. Uh, here we're just you know assembling the base here. So this is going to take a little bit of time. We're gradually getting the pieces we need. Uh, let's see, we got the pieces we need there. And uh, now we simply have to uh, basically uh, assemble this together. If you can see at the bottom of the screen there, we're assembling the legs and trying to put those in place. Uh, I want to angle one out a little bit like that. And then, yeah, it, it takes a little bit of time to do that first step. But yeah, the, the, the focus is you know getting those legs assembled. And then, of course, putting that... Uh, together with the body part and uh, yeah this this is probably usually at least for me the first couple steps are the, the longest and once those are out of the way it becomes easier because like I said and I've probably beat this point too many times is it's a process of elimination uh, with uh, building these blocks so there's there's less pieces to choose from the further you go down. Right here, okay, we're assembling the legs. I'm going to get that on. And now we're going to take uh, right there. And I should go on and get these two things together right here. And remember, it's a second one, I believe. So we're going to do it right there. And uh, yeah, there we have it. And we'll basically do the same thing with these two pieces and then of course uh, butt them up together well there we go we got the first part done that's the hardest part alright uh, one thing to note about uh, number two or step number two is that uh, basically uh, these pieces right here these uh, light colored pieces these are the pretty much uh, from uh, our earlier step number one which we did earlier so we've already got that in place uh, with step number two what you're going to want to do is basically focus on uh, these uh, colored pieces right here these are the pieces you have to put in place uh, so it took me a little while to pick up but I was able to pick up on that and that uh, when you move to step number three these pieces right here will have the same color as uh, the stuff with the X on it right here so just one thing to keep in mind as you were assembling uh, this dinosaur together and you're looking at the instructions uh, it kind of actually threw me off in that uh, later on 
there was a piece that was colored close to this, and I put the wrong color piece on, but I, I switched it over. You'll see in a minute or two. Now, if you remember after step one, we had used uh, 14 pieces. So we had 55 pieces left at the start of step two. In this uh, case, we've got 11 pieces uh, that we're adding to our existing dinosaur. So that's going to leave us with, uh, and we're assembling these pieces here, that's going to leave us with 44 pieces after we're done, done with this uh, second step here. Now, this is a little bit tricky uh, in that you can't put the dinosaur t together to look like what it's showing in the picture there, unfortunately. And what I did is I added a piece that you don't need to add, and I had to take that piece off later. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute here. But first we're going to get this going here and then get the tail on. So anyway, I've got them together and it's just, it's not staying together. And I'm thinking for a minute and I, I decided to grab one of those four blocks, which I'll have to take off or I won't be able to assemble this right. But I basically grab one of these four blocks and uh, stick it on the bottom to try to hold things together. And uh, yeah. Then I'm finally able to uh, put that tail piece on the back side there. Once again, with step number three, you're going to want to uh, just uh, basically focus on the colored pieces in there. Adding, you're going to want to look through your pile and get those. The further you go down, uh, the easier it is to find the pieces in the pile. This uh, end piece right here is probably the most tricky piece. And then, you know, the stuff that's already colored in this shade right here that is pretty much uh, your existing stuff that you did from uh, step number two so yeah so you want to focus on uh, just the the stuff that I was highlighted in blue there and you know just a matter of finding the pieces and then trying to assemble them together uh, per se So we got all our pieces here. Now we just got to assemble it there. Uh, we got that one piece uh, for the tail, and we're trying to work the tail thing on. And remember the, the picture it's showing on the very top in the box? You got to flip the tail backwards to what it, it's showing there. So I got there, and then it doesn't go on that way. So I'm going to have to flip it eventually. Eventually, I figure out that I have to flip that thing. Uh, yep. There we go. I've just figured it out right there. So I'm going to put it on the back. And that's really cool. We got the tail part on. And now uh, when I put this next next pieces on right here is when I realize I don't need to have that bottom piece holding on. But I, I wait till later to, to deal with it. And there I realized uh, I didn't have the piece turned the right way. So I had to turn the insides or turn the, the front of the thing off so it would hinge because uh, this black piece is going to hinge right here and we'll use uh, I'll be assembling a piece later on uh, but yeah we got a few pieces out of the way we're slowly whittling our way down and then there's the piece right there that's supposed to hold it together uh, you don't need a bottom piece uh, which I'll be taking off later step number four is one of the easier steps uh, involved uh, there's not a lot of pieces you have to get. There's uh, this piece right here. Uh, in this case, you've got uh, two of these three pieces right here. There's two of those you have to look for. Uh, there's the red red piece right there. And then, of course, uh, what you're going to use to assemble this right here. Now, the part I, I got tricked on was, or I kind of didn't look at the colors very well, is this uh, gray piece. I'm going to highlight it in purple, these two gray pieces right here. I ended up putting the, the clear pieces, and uh, later on I realized what I did. And I had to take those off and swap them out for uh, the gray pieces in the pile. So that's the only thing I wasn't able to do right there. Uh, yeah, that's step number four. Step number five is actually pretty easy too. And it, the thing I would say is that uh, once, you, once you work your way down the list, it actually gets easier to find the pieces that you need. Uh, basically, we need these uh, four pieces right here. And we're just going to put those on top. So that's, 
that was a pretty easy, uh, pretty easy step. When I got to uh, step number six, I realized I had to take the uh, four by two piece off the bottom to uh, have enough pieces to do it. In uh, step number six, we are basically assembling the uh, mouth. We're going to make a separate piece from what we have. We're looking for one, two, three, four, five different pieces. So there's, there's five different pieces in step number six. And we gather those pieces, and then it's pretty straightforward in how we assemble those. And then we're going to build on that uh, mouthpiece as we go forward. Number seven is where we uh, build on that mouthpiece that we had earlier. You can see uh, it's basically colored in all this right here. And we just need to build uh, build on it going forward. So, okay. And this is kind of where, like I said, I think it, it threw me a little. Is This is showing the, the see-through color, but then they want it to be, uh, instead of being see-through, they want it actually dark gray, which I'll show later on. But that, that we'll, we'll look at in a minute. But yeah, this, this is number seven. There's, there's not a ton of pieces in this. There's, uh, you know, basically there's one right here, two, three, uh, four, five pieces. So not a lot of pieces to put together. Step number eight, uh, the pieces are a little bit easier to find as we whittle down. Uh, this is where I realized that uh, these right here we got to come from where I, I had them assembled on here, it's, but it's supposed to be gray. So I had to take these off right here and put them over to, to there. And then obviously, uh, we'll use a different color arrow, swap these, basically swap them so it, it matched uh, what the idea was on it. So yeah, that was a little tricky part with that. Uh, but you know, once there's not a ton of pieces here, and it's easier. There's less pieces to go through because you start out with 69 pieces and you keep slowly whittle that number down. Once the number gets whittled down, it's a little easier to uh, find the pieces by process elimination. It looks like there's uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, it looks like there's basically five pieces here. So, step number nine basically consists of uh, three pieces to add to the existing and there's this uh, one right here another one right here and then of course the uh, green one that's in the middle right there so those pretty much those three pieces uh, you just find those and then set up and put them together all right we're getting there we're on step number 10 and uh, basically we are putting the teeth in the mouth of the dinosaur. Uh, so what we're going to do is look for these pieces. Basically look for these pieces right here. And in short, you're going to have to assemble uh, basically two, two of this right here. You're going to assemble two of those together. And then what you're going to do is basically you're going to flip you're going to flip that existing mouthpiece that you've been working on. So, you know, you're going to take this and just flip it upside down. And then uh, you're going to take this right here and you're going to stick it uh, right there uh, for each one. And then, um, you know, make sure you're holding it right so these, these pieces are pointing down when you're assembling that piece as well. All right, we've progressed all the way to step number 11. And for this step, basically all we're doing is taking that dinosaur body that we had and uh, assembling that right here with the head. So a uh, head is going to go right on the dinosaur part right there. And it's going to be a little tricky getting this to fit in that little hole right there. In fact, uh, or that little hinge part, what you might want to do is, it's possible this could fall apart while you're putting it through. So you might have to reassemble uh, some of this right here. All right, we made it to the last step, the final step before we put together the dinosaur and that's getting the decals on. 
as you can see I'm working on the four squares right there in step 12 and just putting the decals on uh, this instruction book doesn't show you how to do the decals you kind of got to look at the box and guess where the decals go or just watch the end of this video uh, which works as well but yeah that's where uh, it's the last step you know, this can be a little tricky to stick these things on uh, or it may be really easy depending on uh, how it goes I had a little bit of a problem with the last one the last square piece that is and then uh, the other piece is pretty straightforward and like I said you're going to want to look at uh, you're going to want to look at uh, the box uh, to get an idea where to put the decals this is not it's just not showing it in the instruction manual And there we have it. We finally assembled our dinosaur. We've got our decals on. It looks nice. You know, it can move around the tail. The mouth opens and closes. A lot of stuff you can do with it. You can be creative. You can use it as a prop. You can, well, you know, it's your dinosaur. You can do whatever you want with it. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I kind of like it. I, it's a little bit complex. Not too bad. Uh, one of the things I would point out is you want to get numbered uh, K19A-1 is the one thing you want to look for. That spot on the box uh, for this one matches uh, the spot on on the instructions. And there's four different, when you open the instructions, there's like four different ones. You want to match the one uh, to the dinosaur on the box. I don't know why they, they put a lot of different uh, instructions on. You want to, want to do the right one. And, of course, uh, that wraps this up. Thanks for watching.